Hey, second graders, let me adjust this. It's Mr. Frank Gian, it's time for math. All right, so today for math, again, it's a good thing I'm wearing my helmet because oh, things are being thrown at me. Good thing my helmet's on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, today for math, remember to wear your helmet. We're gonna review shapes. Okay, we've done all this before. So make sure you have your sheet out. It says Tuesday math on it. You can take that off there, all right? And look for shapes in your home and neighborhood. So on the sheet, look for objects that show squares. So I want you to draw pictures of whatever you can find in your house or uh, out in your backyard, your front yard, in the park that might have squares. Now remember, these are the shapes. Just a quick review. I know you know squares, rectangle, triangle. Now remember I showed you pictures of the Pentagon in Washington, DC. It has five shapes. Penta means five. Five, okay? Home plate in a baseball field. Look, is in the shape of a pentagon. It has five sides, okay? Hexagon. Kind of looks like a stop sign, but not quite as many shapes. Hexagon, remember, hex sounds like six. So there's six sides on a hexagon. And cube, I left that blank because I know y'all like to watch. Maybe you could draw a cube. Remember you draw a square, then you draw another square, starting right in the middle of that one, and then you just connect the corners. That is a cube. Okay, so on this sheet, remember, we're putting, we're going to draw objects that we're finding around our house and or in our neighborhood. Remember just to keep distance from everybody else because we don't want to spread that virus. Draw pictures on this sheet. And then on the next page, we just need to identify all the shapes. Now I draw perfect, kind of almost perfect but what a hexagon should look like. Some hexagons might look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's kind of funny shape, but it has six sides, so be aware of that. And I think there might even be a couple cubes on there. So remember, put your names on your papers, and if you can have mom and dad take a picture of it or send it to me via fax or via email, that would be great, or you can text it. Okay, if you can't get that done, then put it in an envelope and, and give it to the bus driver when they come to your house. Anyway, remember to stay safe. I miss you all and get this math done. And then after that, we're gonna do our read aloud. So be ready for that in the next video. Bye.